Yay, yeah. round one. And we spent a good 45 seconds. <laughs> no, we spent a good two seconds. Should we keep them all? Yeah, it's a keep. And we spent 45 seconds determining whether our opponent's name is Chodax or Choclax. <laughs> I was I on prefer the chalk lax, but uh, <laughs> yeah. unfortunately, chocolate laxative. That's we're not mulliganing. Yeah, just no, keep this alive, and we're fine. Yeah, duh. Um, so cool. But hello, good luck, Chodex, Chodex, draw, draw chalk lax. <laughs> hey, black, that's good, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, Ooh, another return phalanx. Yeah. <sighs> so turn three, do you attack in for two, or do you play another phalanx? Uh, wow, mirror match. What up? This kind of sucks. I think we have the advantage. Of, oh, this is perfect for us. Uh, do you play another black or do you do a blue? Is yeah. there any discard? I, like, I'm gonna play the black because I'm just worried about discard. Honestly. Okay. We only need one island. Yeah, go for um, it. Um, and then of course return phalanx first and foremost. Yeah, this is. I mean, this makes me feel really good. Yeah. Especially because this is a good matchup for us. I uh, think. I mean, our opponent has a match? better one, but there's like a great merchant deck or something. Alright, uh, uh, whatever. That doesn't worry me at all. Yeah, we attack. You want to attack in? Yeah. Since we don't really need another return phalanx, right? Uh, I mean, what else is our opponent going to be able to do? And then the next, we attack in here, and then our next turn we play the, the whatever. Got it. Yeah. What are you f 16 That always right. scares me when... Because they're tapped out. I know, but... But they don't know that. But then you can accidentally, like, F6 through attack stuff. I've done it before. Oh. It scares also, me. Also, I wanted to represent Boone, even though I'm sure there's no way our opponent is uh, blocking here. I would love for our opponent to block. Yeah, that would be, be the great. greatest. <laughs> Oh man, we're losing out so much tempo. No, I still think that's the play there, because like, what else are we going to yeah. do with our, our mana? No, I like it. Yeah, because we don't need the Phalanx to be staying alive right now. Yeah, I'd rather get the three points of damage in. Yeah, totally. Four Shizzle. Yep. I mean, now the question is, oh, do we attack again and then play Return Phalanx? Or no, do we, we get uh, Coastline, coastline? Right. Yeah, we want to start. I mean, yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I really like Coastline Chimera, like, in this particular instance, because, like, Lash isn't going to do any... Well, I yeah. mean... I hate the Coastline Chimera card, but... Oh, yeah. In this instance, it's good. Um, I'm just gonna... Go to attack step it. first. Just see. Maybe our opponent does something, you know what I mean? Hey. Good call. Whoa. But what can our opponent have for four? Bounce. Of any sort. I guess. Uh, okay. Our opponent was in the tank for something. Well, for, like, a second. Or, or maybe just... But you never know. Yeah, that was... Hey, hey, hey. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Man of bluff, 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 uh, bluff. Uh, <laughs> I that's, just slapped many. That was a knee slap. That was Viper's, Viper's kiss. Yes. That's fine. Okay. No, so you want to means... race us? Is that what you're doing, or do you you're just major devotion, buddy? Looks I'm... like we're looking at gray merchant issues. Um, that means our viper, our phalanx can attack. Yeah, I know. But my oh, point okay. is, like, you're just wasting a viper's kiss on a return phalanx. Like, it just doesn't matter. <laughs> It's so irrelevant. Do we to what waste we're doing. a lash the whip <laughs> on a? Uh, well, well, we can either keep up lash of the whip if we wanted to, um, in case something comes down, or we can get a return phalanx out. Yeah, return I want, phalanx. I think we just do that. Yeah, we're we're good on that. Yeah. There's no reason not to build our board, and we can start attacking it with that guy next. Yep, that's true. I'm still playing D with the coastline Chimera. I should have checked with you. Oh yeah, that no, whole, of yeah. course. Yeah. I assume that was an of course. What but are we gonna do? Five. We got five out. We got six next turn. We can cavern lamp it up. Our uh, coastline, coastline chimera. chimera. Yeah. I'll Damn. Be Hopefully this isn't a sip. Ooh. Oh, I guess it would have been good to keep up lash the whip. Yeah, we can still kill it, but it's gonna be really dangerous if there's any creature in hand. Mm-hmm. We still have a race on though. Yeah. It's just we're losing it. <laughs> yeah, we will be losing that race. But I mean, sip the hemlock. But we don't have that. Be the bones. Um, All right, what are we doing? Hmm. We can attack in for three. I don't know if we want to take seven points of damage because then we're at five, and then uh, uh, let's let's think about it this way. If we da, da, da. <sighs> we can get dicey and just go for a a a, a lash right now. Our opponent has to have just a creature. I mean, I think we can we attack in for three, and then we next turn we can block with the coastline chimera. And then also lash the, like if we lash the whip our opponent. I disagree. Ha really? Here a lot. Here's why. We're gonna put the lampid on the chimera, block the blood art because we now naturally block. Our mm -hmm. opponent might discard and kill it, the chimera, but it's our opponent's probably discarded the creature that it needs to save for lash the whip because it's so our opponent's low on cards. Oh, okay. Fair. And the chimera is dead, but we got our lampad back. All right, cool. See what I'm saying? All right, then bestow lampad. Boom. There we are. There you go. Not attack. Oh, sounds good. Well, we can't attack, so. 
Well, if we're doing One, our block, two, three, but yeah. four, five. I mean, because this forces our opponent to attack and discard emissary in order to kill our chimera, which we want as a sort of fake out, mm -hmm. um, in order to be able to lash it safely in, in a following turn. Yep. But I all right. I see. And then if our opponent plays a creature after this too, yeah. Then, oh okay. Yeah, and it's a free attack for our opponent, so it's fine. So, um, I mean, what do we think? Does that mean no creature? Well, it's either, like, a power... Oh, oh. Frig is here. It's a thing. Oh, okay. We could have played around that and thought of it, but I don't think that's really accurate. I think it's more that someone would discard. Let's see if our opponent plays a creature here. Mm -hmm. I still like that we're staying alive. Once a harpy comes down, we're in good shape. Sea gods. I guess we could bounce an attack, but just to, like, get the emissary off the flyer. But we're, you know... Not in grand shape. There we have a lot of blockers. I like it because of the scry. Oh, d <laughs> yeah. I can't believe I said that. We have a read the bones. Yeah, but still, the read the bones we're not necessarily playing yet. No, and the thing is, I mean, our opponent has one card in hand. Like, does our opponent keep the creature? Like, our opponent could have easily played a creature there. I, I mean, I think that there's there has to be a creature. I think there there should be. I'm gonna do Sea God's Revenge. Just get the emissary off the flyer. All right. Do you like that? Yeah. No, that's fine. Yeah. Because then we'll have plenty of time to be getting our overlord on. Yep. Ooh, cheese turkey creatures. Yeah, that's it. We only have one. Yep. That'd be sweet Counter if we spell? could also if we could also target the uh, Erebos's emissary. Mm -hmm. Uh, I we think... actually want that because of our born overlord. Yeah. Born. Yeah. Yep. So that's grand for us, and then we'll attack in with our cavalry lamp. Oh thing... no! Oh, I'm so dumb. What? Uh, we should have attacked first, then then. Now the emissary can block. Oh, that's true. That was two points of damage we less lost that on. I'm a loser. So are you. You didn't catch that. Yeah, you're better at this than I am. Hey, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, the only thing is that we know that opponent has at least one card in hand that um, can discard. Yeah, but we block up. with our return phalanx, and then I'd rather I'd trade the phalanx for our harpy. Oh no! No! I'm so sad right now. I mean, whatever. We it lose happens. The, we lose the Abhorrent Overlord. Yeah. Whatever. And we're trying a dead card now. Because we kept the land for our scry. Oh, well. How is it a dead card? We just don't And it allows it. us to both play Read the Bones and Lash the Whip. How are we playing both? Because seven? Yeah, that's eight. Oh, yeah. I can't math. Yeah. Michael can't math. Yeah. Oh, surprise, surprise. Our only win condition. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we know at least one of those cards of Blood Till Harpy. I mean, we're not out of this, or, no. but we're, you know, just, there's things to do. Yeah. Uh, double block? Uh, our opponent's going to have to discard yeah. Blood. But when we trade an Emissary and a Blood Till Harpy for our two return Phalanxes? Heck yeah. Uh, no, because it then becomes a 5-5. Five five. Oh, yeah. yeah okay, yeah, five. go for it. Right? Yeah, sure. And if our opponent decides to discard two cards? Sure. And I mean, when we, we just triple put, block. Yeah, why not? Yeah. It means our opponent can choose to kill the lamp bad, but we just want to stay alive, right? Yeah, that's fine. Our opponent can't do anything. It'll else. be a three for three. But that's good if for our us opponent because we have a lash yeah. and a read back up. And the two, like, are at least two of those, like, three are better than the cards that we have. Yeah, I mean, we get to keep. We're keeping the crappy return phalanx. Who cares though? Who cares? Our opponent does have that's to... if our opponent wants to do that. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that's great for us. Yep, there we go. Boom. Plus, not like Cavern Lampheads doing anything in particular here. Or yeah. anything exciting here. Yeah. This Boom. is awesome. Uh, read the bones? Uh, yeah, let's read some bones. You don't need double blue for anything, right? Am I missing uh, something? Uh, nope. Okay. I definitely want the other read, even though we're going to lose two more life. We don't need another lash. I don't need another lash, but then we might get another land. Yeah, uh, but who cares? Okay. It's fine. Put it on top. We don't need another. Yeah, I mean, you're going to follow up. Do you want to read again right now? Because we have the mana and the life to do it at the moment? Uh, yeah, sure. Let's do it. Sure. Yeah. Let's dig. <laughs> sure. I'll draw four cards. Uh, Griptide, yes. Swamp, bottom. No. Cool. Play the land. And pass the That's turn. the turn. Cool beans. Yep. Grey Merchant still sucks, though. Actually, we we don't die to Grey Merchant. We don't die, but One, yeah, two, it three, definitely four, like, gets us low. Yeah. We have a lot of things that we have going yeah. for I mean, us. Fate Foretold. Okay. Draw a card. Go for it. Yeah, man, this person... This is weird. This person was sitting really close to us. You think so? Yeah. I don't think so. We didn't Freak see anything is, close I mean, to this Freak stuff. Is cure. And we had a lot. We saw Farika's Cure. No, we didn't. Yeah, we did. Pack three. 
What did we pick? Oh, Voyage's Enemy picked over it, yeah. Hey! That's pretty sweet. I want to maximize mana, though. What can we do the most of? We only have seven. Um... Oh we can God. do Camera Lampion and Crackling Train, but I think the Lampion needs to go on top of something in order to be relevant in this matchup. Yeah. So I don't think we can maximize mana, right? Um, we can Crackling Triton leaving up... Griptide. Griptide. Let's do that. Love it. Yep. I mean, not that we would want to Griptide a Br Disciple of Phoenix, no, but, but, you know, if something ridiculous happens... Yeah. Here. This is fine. Yeah. I'd love to see a Mnemonic Wall, just so that we could say we read the bones three times. Tormented hero. That is not. Who that cares? is incredibly underwhelming. I, you don't have eight ways to target it anyway. Void is in. That's cool. Yeah. Um. Cavern lamp. I think we just keep do keepsake Gorgon and then keep void is end up. Oh so. yeah, that's true. I wasn't. I forgot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was do you want to attack in with crackling train just for shits and giggles? No. No. Okay. Because um, that leaves, not like our opponent would necessarily attack, but it leaves back the double block for us. Yeah. That's true. Good call. I mean, our opponent could very well want to, I guess if our follow-up play was Keepsake Gorgon, then we attack the dynamic. Yeah. Cool thing is, we can Monstrous next turn and start blowing things up. Can we Monstrous next turn? Seven, right? Yeah. Yep. We have seven. I, I mean, and then the turn after voyages end our things. Yeah. You know? Sweet. Ooh, I kind of like playing the land... Bestowing the cavern lamp bed Leaving on Leaving up Voyages on, end? Yeah, yep. exactly. That sounds and good. And then we can attack in with Keepsake Gorgon as well. Yep. I like it. Now we have two decent threats. Mm -hmm. um, now we have to be careful. That means we're leaving ourselves open. Um, do we to attack with Keepsake Gorgon? I kind of like it because it can get through. We need to start getting ahead at some point. This, yeah. You know what I mean? But I mean, a 4 5 Intimidate. 4-5 unblockable, essentially. What is that? It's it's a five-turn clock. It's not unblockable, then, but... Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, it is, because it's blue. It's unblockable, yeah. Yeah, fine. We'll just play D. Sorry. Yeah. I like it better. It, only because of the light discrepancy, I should say. Yeah. It, I mean, it's, it's, it does turn it from a five-turn clock into a three-turn clock with the six points of damage. Mm-hmm. I still like having that blocker up. I don't know. Maybe I'm playing too defensively. I'm a little worried about a gray merchant because if our opponent continues to play that, yeah, here we go. It's oh, no, 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 no. Hold what? on. Hold on. Hold on. You want to bounce what? the disciple? No, no, no. We can bounce something because uh, it's, what is it here? Yeah, one, two, three, four, one four five, damage. six. No, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. And we're down to two, but like, what else are we going to do? Uh, yeah. You're right. uh, it's just one point. We get one, the two, three, here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, you're right. All right, that sucks. Sorry. It's okay. It's I was, just... I was just. No, it's a good thing to think about though. But uh -huh. still, it's like basically we need to gain some life. Is what mm -hmm. needs to happen. Yeah. See, good thing we didn't attack with Keepsake Gorgon. Yeah. Hmm. Well, another Grey Merchant. I mean, we just die. We can't ever bounce it, which is not really a big deal. Um. I. Well, no, but I mean, we can like lash the whip things and like two ways to target tormented hero means we die um do you just want to put the idol on on the crackling train to get one more point of damage on it or do you just want to have more defense since we're so low on life i mean just so we're so low on life i mean targeting spells or another gray merchant means we're dead um yeah i don't know Crap. i mean oh. we're dead anyways so there's no point like necessarily kill any of these creatures that are relevant yeah we're attack in because we're definitely attacking yeah the crackling okay train. cool Wait. Oh, we have to play Baleful Eidolon. We can't have it bestowed. Cause yeah. like, Otherwise, we're going to be attacked. I mean, we have to use one of our dudes or kill something. But yeah. My point is, like, we don't really need to do that. Yeah, I'm just going to play the Baleful Eidolon, keep up our uh, different tricks. Monstrous. Monstrosity. Oh, we'd have enough mana for it. Oh, yeah, you're right. Shoot. I mean, but that would have performed a similar function to, yeah. to Baleful Eidolon. Yeah. That's why I'm saying it's like. If for some reason like we were that got us out of range of another gray merchant coming down, then I'd be down to the monstrosity. But we're at two, so anything can happen. Sip of the hemlock. Yeah, and that was gonna go down anyway. Uh, uh, let's just do a voyage's end on our dude, and then we can um, hold on. Grip tight if they want to attack in. Oh yeah, that's true. Oh, we get to scry. That's pretty cool. Scry right, that to the bottom. Put on bottom of the library. Do we have any life gain in our deck? I don't think so. No. 
Oh, that also means we don't die. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> that's pretty cool. That was the game plan, which is good. Uh, but yeah, otherwise I wouldn't have just wasted a shine out card to yeah, our opponent. You're right. But yeah. No, 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 I mean, it, we, we don't die because, like, the two damage doesn't happen. Yeah. That was the only reason why I did the, uh... Oh, I see. Yeah, actually, the only reason why I thought of saying the Keepsake Gorgon was because of the two life. Um, not necessarily just to keep the Keepsake Gorgon around. Oh, this is going to be bad news bears for the opponent, because the opponent's just going to try to attack. Yeah, probably. And then we'll kill some stuff. We're going to put the Tormented Hero on top of the library, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, we can't put anything else yeah, on top of the library. Yeah, those are too powerful for what we're doing. I mean, Disciple does just make us discard. We can kill Tormented Hero. Like, the thing is, we can tra say opponent attacks with everything. We can trade yeah. with the Grey Merchant. We can trade with the Tormented Hero. Yeah. Um, whereas this, they just bounce off. And can then that kill? means opponent does lose Fate Foretold. I just so, don't want to take any damage. We can kill a Tormented Hero, bounce the Disciple, kill the Grey Merchant with Bale Fly on, right? Uh -huh. And then... Um, and that means we're putting a disciple on top of library, but that means our, they're going to play the disciple and get our lash next turn. And, uh, the opponent's yes, the opponent's going to get a card. You're right. No, in that case, I think we just block return phalanx okay. to the disciple, bounce tormented hero, kill gray merchant. All right, let's do it then. Because right now we can get something more relevant later, possibly. Oh, show. That thing. Oh, shit. Cool. Okay, and grip tight. Boom. Yay. Hopefully this will... Yay. All right, cool. It's oh, in a little bit of decent shape. Yep. Beautiful Ion. Yeah, that card looks familiar. I know, right? Uh, so now we can attack him with Crackling Triton. Yep. Um, and that's good. And then what? Just play the Keepsake out, and then... One, two, three, four. And then just the Belf Ion also yep. for D. My guys, we got to pay attention to time. Yeah, that's true. Opponent's only four minutes up. I mean, that's a lot of yeah, time. It looks but like, it, like it's going to be in this match. Yeah, Baleful. Or whatever, I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, the both. I'm doing this first. Yep. Let's see what else happens. Give up a null? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it that or, or Boone? Yeah. yeah. I wasn't even Doesn't thinking Doesn't Boone cost life, though? So, like, there's no way we'd Oh, yeah, that's yeah. true. You're right, you're right. Yeah. Uh, uh, Tormented Hero. We're going to attack him with Keepsake Gorgon and Crackling Triton. Uh, I mean, alternatively, we could kill the Disciple of Phoenix. Opponent gets to draw a card off of that, though. But we can do that later, anyway. Yeah. What do you mean draw? Oh, yeah, because Favorite Told? Yeah, we don't even want to kill it. We'll just save it. Uh, I mean, if our opponent wants to block, the opponent's going to block, it saves mana for yeah, us, Yeah, you're right? right. True. Let's see what our opponent wants to do. Mm -hmm. Yep, you're right. Maybe it is bad to let the card... No, but... It's gonna die anyway. Like if we want to be attacking it, it's, yeah, in some way. And there's like there's less um, what you might call it draw steps if we we're attacking in more quickly because it's a two turn clock. Uh huh. So they get the extra card anyway if we don't attack in. So that's fine. Well, we also would have done issue. three points more of damage, so our opponent would have been at five because if we would have if we would have monstrosity it. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, which we could have done. Uh, wait, crash Giant's gonna be a bummer if it can target. I mean, end of turn, we still want. We still. Oh yeah, we're monstrous. killing it. Yeah, monstrosity, right? Yeah, we have to kill it because it can yeah. block wave crash Triton. Yep. Boom. And can we win four, five, six, seven, eight? So we can try doing the lash on the tormented hero right now. Uh huh. And see if our opponent has nothing in hand. Do you want to waste a lash like that? No, I mean lash is probably something like l lash is also one of those cards like that we very well may have, and like it is it worth kind of like playing around? Do you know what I mean? Or hiding that information? It's just if our opponent has nothing, we win now. And every draw, I'm scared of another gray merchant winning the game. Yeah, that's true. All right, let's play it. Let's go for it. I think we go for yeah. it. Issue it. Yeah, I think it's our best deal. Worst case scenario, what our opponent has something. What did I do? Over tapped? No, you under tapped. But I did one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I over tapped. Oh, you did. Sorry. No, it's okay. I just I didn't want to know what I did. No, I see. I see what you mean. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens. Yay! Yeah, okay, cool. Just barely. Still got to pay attention to time because we need to. If we lose our game two, yeah, it's gonna be rough. We're only like thirteen minutes.
Okay, so what do we care about? Anything? Uh, Scourge Mark kills the foil tormented hero. Uh, it doesn't really do anything else. You mean Viper's Kiss? That's what I meant. But yeah. Um, I think Grey Merch is made. Oh, but there's the flyer. There's the two on Harpy, which yeah, I mean, we have ways to deal with. There's so, but I mean, it kind of matters. There's things that target it. Is there anything we don't like though in our deck? Uh, oh, Viper's Kiss also stops um, the enchantment creature, Erebos' Emissary. Erebos' Emissary. Oh, I like that. Yeah. I think maybe prevent, one of the prevents our opponent from discarding. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because Intimidate is largely... Not as great, right? Yeah. I mean, like, it got us that game, but still, in maybe general, Maybe we to see God's Revenge, since we don't want to be bouncing a lot of our... Ooh, our that's then. true. Yeah, Bounce is not that great. I think we were that, so yeah. we're going to get to the one that we want, because yeah. we're going late. Mm -hmm. And the Lampads... Plus, Mnemonic Wall... You have to think Mnemonic Wall yeah. means we have two anyway. Yeah. And the Lampads, even though it's not great on our black creatures, like, we saw... We do have, like, two, two three, three that work, and, you know... Yeah. It's really just getting our opponent does dudes. have blue creatures too, yeah. so like we could see the kind of. Game. And honestly, sadly, in our deck, the plus two plus two, even without intimidate, is just what we it, need. Is to a thing. Our finishing. <laughs> yeah. All right. Cool. I like that actually. I like it. Yeah. Cool. Viper's kiss. I think Viper's kiss is going to be good against yeah. the Erebus' emissary. Let's try not to go below five minutes. <laughs> oh, we won't. Ah. Uh. Keep? I think against our opponent we do, actually. Oh, yeah, this but is... Uh, would you like to mull? No. It sucks, but with Read the Bones, we get to draw stuff. Do you want mulligan? No, it's fine. We are on the draw, which kind of sucks. These effing mulligans. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they were fun. I don't understand why I say that, but I'm always nice. I, yeah. I wouldn't even respond. Like, that doesn't justify a response. Okay, fine. I agree with you. Yeah. What is he down to? Five. Oh, five. Whatever. I don't have time. I just don't Seriously. want the born Overlord to get pulled out like it did last turn. The only thing match. is that if we don't hit anything, we're going to have to discard from Read the Bones. That's true. <sighs> How are we not hanging? I mean, in all honesty, at this point, I don't care if we discard. Well, yeah, we can. They're just lands, and we have plenty. Mm -hmm. And I'd rather just do Read the Bones. <laughs> Plus, it's get like something our relevant. opponent's screwed anyway. Yeah. Whatever. Gosh. Oh, well, play it on. Let's read them bones. <laughs> Do you want to keep Viper's Kiss? I, I'd keep Viper's Kiss because it's A play. Yeah. And of course, not because of that. Voyager then, that's nice. And yeah, we discard an island. Yeah. That's crazy. That's <laughs> insane. Oh well. Our opponent can't play things, we flood. Yep. We, I mean, we can, we can even kill that. I'm going to kill that because why not? I and mean, we're not drawing anything. Yeah. I mean, do we? Yeah, just yeah. kill it. Cause especially because we are actually needed to stay alive at this point. Yeah. And if Viper Kiss ends up being a removal spell, we're happy about that. Yeah, exactly. Like it, it did, it did something. Yeah. Plus, that very well could be the best our opponent did. Yeah. yeah. We got a card that we want to play. We play land this turn already. Damn. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Wow, we flooded like crazy. Yeah. That that was kind of... I mean, we did keep a... What was it? Was that a six? No, it was a five lander. Yeah. Yeah, we just had to read the bones and born over there. That's five, not ideal. Two, three. And we drew four lands? Mm -hmm. Wow. Despite us, right? I mean, yeah. Still. But the thing is, we're on equal footing. Our opponent got a little screwed, but we like All right. things to do. So, uh, yeah, uh, we'll just play Crack and Trident and attack in, right? Uh, attack, and then play Crack and Trident. Begin combat. Boom. Yup. And do we leave a boon or a null? <laughs> leave a boon, why not? Alright, cool. It's a better card. Alright. Yup. And the question is, like, do we play the Porn Overlord next turn? Yeah. Yeah, because I discard. Yeah, you're right. Agent of Fates. It's a good card. Yeah. Hopefully we're so far ahead it doesn't matter. Fate foretold. Um, we have to sack a dude. I think we turn Phalanx? No, because it gets an extra Harpy, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. We're but we're it not attacking us... in next turn, whereas next turn we can at least attack in with Crackling Triton. Do you put that extra true. Harpy? No, I mean... It's an extra turn for the Overlord to be alive. Uh, that's true. Yeah, I think I like it. Yeah, let's get rid of the Crackling Triton. Yep. The two points doesn't matter. Having the 6-6 six, six matters. Yep. Cool. Plus the turn after that, hopefully there's not another way for our opponent to target that. We can, like, yeah. Voyage's End something. Yeah. Like, we can even Voyage's End our opponent for Lord. I know it's ridiculous, but... Yeah. I'm gonna get more stuff. Yeah. Jeez. 
I'm just slamming the overlord, yeah. of course. If there wasn't discard, I'd be down to hang on to it. Uh -huh. Well, maybe not, because agent fades, but still, just in general, try to keep it around. Um, but this is good enough. Mm-hmm. I can't remember what it does. Yeah, we got a sack of dude at the yeah. beginning of our upkeep of turn. Come on, not too many ways. Is oh. it the hemlock? Yep. Yeah. Sure. It's bound to happen, unfortunately. We're still about three fine. in the we air coming three through. three harpies. Yeah. And we can even Voyage's End the we agent. We gas. <laughs> Why do we have so many lands? <laughs> I, like, we Voyage's End uh, attack in. Oh, shoot, I clicked through too much. Well, actually, I want to be on defense. But we can Voyage's End it. And I think we do here so that we don't have to sack something. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I should have done that. Um, I don't know, but it, it doesn't get us anything. I mean, get takes without the fan, but he can just replay it. He can replay the agent. Yeah. Yeah, but we're worried about a targeting spell. I know. I'm just, I'm gonna let like it go. If a targeting I don't think it matters that much. All right. But I mean, like, if a targeting spell happens, we sack a harpy. Yeah. Horizon Chimera. That we're bouncing. Do you care about the scry? No. Okay. Because I think we just keep tempoing out. And yeah. we are going to attack him with turn phalanx. That's what I think we should have done. Yeah. Bottom, bottom, that's fine. You're going to attack? Scry too. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then we make their put, put on top. Yeah. Because like we get to play all of our cards yeah. with that. Um, do it now. Uh, before attacks, playing the phalanx. We need to see what. Oh, I yeah. guess it tapped out, right? Yeah. I need to be playing quicker. Uh, uh, let's attack in with okay. the return phalanx. Don't click. Okay. Yes. <laughs> let's just start getting the beat zone. Interesting. I guess my opponent, opponent, our opponent just wants to stay alive, get the card. That yep. makes sense. Oh, we, we don't do. see as much. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's okay. I, I'm glad though that they traded, and maybe our opponent won't have traded. That's before. fine. Because yeah, uh, yeah. This is the kind of time where we goodbye Freak is here. Yep, goodbye Freak is here. Don't really care about the land. Yeah. That was the easy goodbye for this group. Because yeah. most people online... They, Are we going to Voyage's End again, the Horizon Scholar? Yeah. We It still comes down, and we're kind of screwed, but I think the Scry is relevant. What are we trying think to about into? We hit, we hit four. We're going to hit We're gonna hit for four here. Opponent will be down to seven. Opponent will be down to seven, yeah, exactly. We're hopefully getting gas, right? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we then... We even, like, a chump attack the turn after, like... Yeah. Opponents down to four. I mean, it's not the best, but hopefully we draw into something at that point. You know, it's yeah. one of those things. And like, I this mean, this is where we want to intimidate. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I know. We seriously. actually do want a cavern lamp bed right now, but we get like a uh, gorgon or something. I don't mm -hmm. know, but we should definitely. I think it's because of the scry that puts me over the top. Yeah, I mean, we have to. Still want to be careful here. Yeah, I mean, we can do it. Hopefully, it just like opponent doesn't do anything. But what I was gonna go back to, like on the reveal of the disciple of phoenix, like. Mm -hmm. You have time in between, like, you're actually revealing and when you're looking at your cards. You don't have to click something right away. You wait. Yeah. Because, much like Ryan and I did, our opponent tanked after the reveal of the Swamp. So, clearly, yeah. the Freakus Cure was more important than the Swamp. So, yeah. we, clicked the, we clicked the Freakus yeah. Cure. We would have done it regardless in that instance. But, you know, you could have made us at least guess. Yeah. I have a feeling, based on what our opponent said earlier about moles, I'm going to say something. Uh, do we like Eidolon? It lets us kill the... Uh... Yeah. Yeah, we might as well do it. I mean, then that means we are going to have to like be defensive with one of the things. Oh, no, Eventually. we can do it afterwards. Uh, does the extra point of damage matter? Oh, no, we do it now, it's of not, course. It's not something like this, yeah. Yeah. Cast with bestow on a harpy. Boom. F6. Yeah, just make sure we actually attack. attack with everyone, yeah. Yep. And then actually extra point of damage could be pretty awesome. Uh-huh. Because then what we're hitting for five this turn, it brings down our opponent down to six. Mm -hmm. um, and then next turn we hit for two, three, four. I mean, our opponent could get out of this if we continue to whiff. Yeah. And uh, that Horizon Scholar sticks around. That is true. Our opponent, like if we get rid of this heartbeat gets bounced uh, or something. Our opponent topped both of the cards. Mm -hmm. But 
our opponent also doesn't have a Horizon Scholar now. I mean, there's nothing our opponent can do for a black. Mnemonic Wall would be awesome. I know. That's exactly what I yeah. Mnemonic Wall last Oh, week. see? Dark Betrayal came down, took out our, our bestowed Harpy. Uh, whatever. So we have to get an answer to Horizon Scholar. But we have time. If our opponent wants to be attacking it with the Scholar, like, we've got our opponent at low enough life where that may not be good. Ooh, just knife. That's good. Uh-huh. And a baby can. Ooh, lots of flyers. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. Lash of the Whip. Take out the Nyad, attack yep. in with everything still? We can... Because <laughs> we get rid of the Vaporkin and the Nyad. The thing is, Lash, we can hang on to for the uh, Horizon Scholar. For the Horizon Scholar, yeah. Um, or, because what happens if we attack... If we Lash the Nimbus Nyad, we can attack for four here, and then it puts our opponent out of four, like, four? Well, no, because the Vaporkin's probably going to eat in a heartbeat. It'll uh, put our yeah, opponent down to five. Yeah. I think we have to save it for the... Uh, the big guy? The Horizon Scholar. Yeah, then, that, then that means we attack with... With nothing, because it just eats stuff. Baleful, Baleful, uh, Nimbus yeah. Nyad can attack, can block, but that's fine. Yeah, we actually, that you're right, because we, we're happy if our Baleful Island does one pick or just takes out a flyer. Yeah. I mean, so, Vapor King can't block yeah. Baleful, but. But if it takes out Nimbus Nyad, that's pretty awesome for us. And we wanted to block, uh, Vapor King with the Harpy, right? Uh huh. Because we could double block the two Harpies. Oh, surprise, surprise. Boom doesn't matter, so we'll just end a turn Lash the Web Horizon Scholar, right? Mm -hmm. Bottom, bottom. God, I hope we win, otherwise our time's shot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like obsessed with this time thing. Yeah, I know. Uh, yep. No attacks, yay. Okay, that's cool. That's a dead Horizon Scholar. Yay. Cool. Cabin yay! Lambert. Oh, that's awesome. That's amazing. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Just put on a harpy? Uh, yeah, you put it on a harpy. Yeah. And we'll take it with Belfall and harpy, right? Yep. Uh, I mean, it's also a free attack if we attack him with Disciple, because, like... Correct. Do you know what I mean? Yep. And it's actually point of damage. Mm-hmm. Our opponent might... Our opponents can block the Disciple and have him bounce off or get the right. track. Yeah. Sure. I mean, I guess Boon is still a thing, but then that puts our opponent to just about dead. Yeah. That's still good. So, uh, yeah, see? Cavern Lambed. Cavern Lambed actually got there. Intimidate <laughs> actually did something here. You showed us, Cavern Lampad, how wrong we were. Um, I was going to say, Sea God sucks. Sea God still does suck, but... We're so far ahead, though, in life. Like, we should be okay. No, yeah, exactly. But it still leaves us with a Cavern Lampad as the thing. Yeah. Read for value. No. <laughs> just win. <laughs> But we could read the bones and win more. We could. We'll do that afterwards. Okay. If there's a reason. Oh, to. we could have attacked with a harpy too. Yeah, but why? I mean, because it would have traded. It's an extra block that our opponent has to make. I guess. Cryptide. Oh, see, it puts our opponent at one. See, read for extra value, sir. Okay, okay. We're going to use it. Yep. <laughs> yeah, we have to. It's gonna be land land. Watch. Oh, Can you dissolve. That is oh. hilarious. <laughs> oh, that's the beats. But it's that's actually fun. okay because you then know we don't lose too. Yeah, there's Whatever. nothing else that's like going down. It's just what our opponent has opponent nothing do? now. Yeah, I mean our opponent's been past the top picks and then it killed Cavern Lampad. So yeah, we'll see. Got us with dissolve. Yeah. Well played, opponent. Lucky. Lucky. Sort of. Yeah. No. Yeah. Ggs. It's also, yeah. you know, I don't. We just want. Yeah, no, I don't. We're, we kind of the same like issues with yeah. uh, screw I don't, versus flood. I don't gratify my opponents with with that. When they say, like, <laughs> I, I don't gratify them like, with the response. Mad. Or, or I just egg them on. Well, it's just that's magic. Like, there's gonna be times that happens. Or I just egg them on. Uh, run two. Yep. Here we go. This? Oh, All totally. Right. 